Hello, I am Larry Weinberg, the Rum River Art Center Director. This may be your first project or you've done several in the past. This is going to be a quick tour of RRAC and what we have to offer you as a participant, volunteer, and maybe even as a donor. Our mission at the Rum River Art Center as a 5013 nonprofit organization is to make a difference through art, being a welcoming and inspiring environment for artists of all ages. So you can explore your creativity through our classes, collaboration, and partnerships in the North Metro. Our history is that we began in 2009 as a small 500 square foot studio and have expanded to well over 5,000 square feet. We have many different areas that is like a maze here at the Rum River Arts Center. We're located in a historic milk factory along Rum River in Anoka. We have several programs and partnerships that we do with kids, teens, adults, older adults. We have a new ceramic program that with wheel and handbill pottery where we have a whole community of potters that have started here. We have summer camps, we do programs with the libraries, with the school districts and the local communities in the North Metro. We have several different mediums that we use here at the Art Center, drawing, acrylic painting, watercolor painting, mixed media, hand-built pottery, wheel throwing pottery, mosaics, polymer clay, we do stained glass and many more. One of the big programs we do at the Art Center is our summer art camps. And in 2021, we're expanding the program to include older adults with five or six new camps that are geared just to older adults. We have over 40 different programs for kids, and they can be either half day or all day. Since we're a nonprofit or art center, we depend on you to help us run the organization. We need donations, we need volunteers, it all makes a difference. We are 95% funded by people like you by taking classes or making donations. Both monetary and in-kind donations are able to keep the art center thriving in any time. You can donate online. You can uh, come in and visit us. All donations are tax deductible. Please enjoy the class. Here it is. Here's the book and it's on the cover. But I was going to show you. He also did things like landscapes. Uh, he did a portrait of his dad. His dad was very stern. Uh, he did these lovely trees. And a lot of times people use these as an example for perspective as they get farther away in shadows. I wanted to show you his signature here. So what's kind of fun about this is that he used, that's an A, that's an old fashioned A from when the, he was, in the 1500s, and then he's got his, his last name, Dor, D, and then he puts the date on top of it. Instead of signing our paper today, we're gonna use our initials for our Albrecht Dor project, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna start, and you want to start with pencil, draw light. I'm not gonna be drawing so light so that you guys can see what I'm doing. If I draw real light, if I draw like this, you're not going to see it. So I'm going to go down on the bottom of my picture, and I'm going to do my initials. My name is Larry Weinberg, so I'm going to do an L, like that, my L. And then I'm going to do a W, kind of connecting them. And then I'm going to do the date, 2021. Now you can put that it's April 27th, 2021, but you just wanna have this down to start with. Then if we're all set, we're gonna get started now. One of the things that you're gonna notice about my drawing is that I added these trees in the background and I added it with just the side of my pencil. So I hold my pencil like this when I'm doing shading, I'm gonna hold it like this when I'm sketching. So when you want to hold your pencil, you're going to hold it like you typically do. So just grab it like that. 
And we're going to start with some shapes. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with this oval. That oval shape is like an egg. And look at the angle. I use my pencil to kind of show you the angle. So what I do is I come over here and I look at the angle. And I see the angle. And I'm going to do my egg shape. I'm going to do it lighter to start with, but then I'll make it a little bit bigger and less light like that. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm drawing, like I said, darker. You can see my early lines there, but you can see the angle. You want your rabbit to have that angle like that. Okay, so I'm going to give you all a chance to get this egg shape. We'll come back and do the details, but the next thing we're going to do is the body. Now, if you look at this, I use this as proportion. I take my fingers and I look like this. This is the size of the head, and the body is not quite two of the head. So I go like this. I'm going to go right about here. I'm going to make a little mark back there. That gives me an idea of where it's going to be. Then I take my pencil. My pencil wants to roll away, doesn't it? So I take my pencil and I look at this angle and the angle's like that. So I'm gonna come and I see that the body starts right between where the ears are. So I'm gonna come right there. If you can see where my dot is. And I'm going to make this kind of loop. So I'm going to make this oval. And it's going to come like this. I'm going to draw it lightly so you can kind of see. I'm just looking at. And I'm going to come down on this side. And I might come a little bit over like this. So you can see you want to have the shapes like that before we start doing the detail. This gives us the ability to kind of know we're in, we have things in proportion. So you guys have your head and body, right? You can give me a thumbs up while I see Harper's. Quincy, you're giving me great. Great, okay. So then what I'm gonna do next, guys, oh, thank you, uh, is I'm gonna do the eyes, okay? Because the eyes kind of set up where the ears are gonna go. Now the eyes, if we look at it, he's looking this way. He's, you can see his eye. So we're seeing it right over here near the top of the head. So I'm coming over here and I'm going to make, I'm gonna go right outside the, of my oval a little bit, creating that circle there, okay? So you go near the top of the head. Now the other eye, I'm just gonna look at it. You can see it comes at a, just a slight angle and it's in the center. And it's not a circle, it's an oval. So I'm gonna come over like this. And I'm gonna make the kind of curved line like that. And a curved line there. Okay, and then what we wanna do is give him Just an eyeball. I'm going to just color it in a little bit so it's not so creepy. All right. So then what I'm going to be doing, it looks like you guys have got pretty close to having everybody still kind of working on the eye. I'm going to kind of go nice and slow here. 
You can, guys can give me a thumbs up when you're ready to move on to his nose. I see a thumb. Yep, all right. Great. Okay, great. Okay, good. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm kind of coming from above. You can see like this, this his, his nose, his snout kind of comes down like this. So I'm going to kind of come down. I'm doing it really light, and then I want to have this kind of oval like this. So I'm just going to go, and the line, I'm looking at it, it's at an angle, so I have the angle. So I do an upside down U, and then I'm going to do a smiley face, like that. So you have the upside down U. We come in with the kind of the smiley face, and then we're going to do his nose, which then comes down. I'm looking at the angle here, and it comes down like that. And like I said, I'm making mine dark so you can kind of see it. So again, it was upside down you, kind of a little smiley face, and then we come to kind of a V there. Then I'm gonna do a line. I'm just looking at my line, it's just a slight angle. So I'm just coming with a straight line, and then this is where you've done this for cats and dogs and all kinds of things. We're going to create this kind of area like this. Well, we're going to circle like that and like this. Okay. Now, this is where the eraser comes in because I want my rabbit, you can see my oval was a little bit too big. So now I'm coming like that and I'm just bringing my line over there. So I'm adjusting the head. And this is one of the things we'll do continuously as we go through our drawing is we'll keep adjusting. Now, what I want to do before I get into some more of the detail of his whiskers, and maybe it's a she. The reason I think this is a girl rabbit is look at the beautiful eyelashes she has there. She has really cool eyelashes. So then what I want to do is I'm going to come. I take my pencil and look at how straight this line is going up, this first ear. And it's right above the nose here. So what I do is I come like that. And then I know that this is where I want the ear, right there. So you see what I did? I looked at the drawing. I took my pencil. It rolls too much. And so I'm getting it lined up right there so I know. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing this shape where I'm coming straight up and then I'm going to curve like this. So you just want to come straight up and then curve. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing this kind of loop. You know how bunnies ears, they kind of come around. So we want to loop it. So what we do is this, we come over like that. It looks pretty funny right now. It looks like it's got an antenna. Maybe this is a Martian bunny, I'm not sure. But then we come and I just come down, you can see I'm 
you can, this is called kind of feather lines. I'm just, I'm not coming with a straight line. I'm just kind of coming down. And I come back to that dot. You can see that my dot's right there. So that's ear number one. And if, if you guys can give me a thumbs up if you think you're uh, at uh, ear number one, it looks like we are. Evangeline, you're still working on it. So now I'm going to do ear number two. Look at the angle for ear number two. So I, like I said, I always use my pencil. This ear comes up just. Okay, I thought it came up higher. That's an illusion. It actually does not come up higher. It comes up a little bit lower. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to kind of make a dot over here. And I'm using this angle. So what I want to do is I'm going to be sketching it from right here. And I'm going to do my loop up here. Like that. So I'm just coming. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be bringing this line. Back down. I'm coming over. I'm going to do this line like that. So you can see I've got this loop over here, this loop over here. Just repeat. And then I bring the ear back like that. So you can kind of see that I'm going over that line that I had there. I'm darkening it so you can kind of see my bunny ears there. So just to repeat, we're coming up. This is the outside of the ear here. I do this kind of upside down U shape. I come back. Then I give it the inside of the ear and I bring it back and attach it to his head. Bunnies like when their ears are actually attached. Looks like every you're good. Looks like people are good. Yep. All right. So now we have that. Let's let's give him some personality or her. And I'm going to show you. Let's go over and start working on this one eye here. And I'm going to kind of adjust it a little bit. So I'm going to erase a little bit of this eye for me so you can see what I'm doing. I'm coming over. And I'm darkening, and I'm giving him kind of an eyelash, and then I'm giving her And then what I'm going to do is I'm coming in. Just I'm adjusting as I'm going here. So if you can see that, we've got the one eye and then this other eye, what I want to do is I'm going to give the, the rabbit's eyelash or eyelid comes over it a bit like that. So I'm coming over and then I'm going and adding It's eyelashes. Now those are kind of important because those keep like bugs and things away and they, they bat their eyes to keep the, the, their eyes clean. So that actually is an important thing. Then I'm gonna go ahead 
and I'm going to be dotting here on both sides, and I'm going to be doing my whiskers. And this bunny has lots of whiskers, and they're kind of straight, fine lines. I'm going to use, I'll show you what I'm going to, I'm going to use my other pencil here just so you can get kind of an idea. So I'm adding the whiskers. And then what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to take my pencil. And I'm going to hold it like this. And I'm just going to kind of come up. And I'm going to shade a little bit. And I'm going to darken in his nose. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to shade with, I'm just using the side of my pencil underneath his eye. And I'm just going to be adding with the side of my pencil again. I'm just using a little bit to create a little bit of fur here in there. So you can see that I'm creating a little bit more and then what I want to do is I'm going to come over and I'm going to erase a few of my lines there so that I can add my detail. Again, when I'm doing some of the detail, I'm holding my pencil, I'm taking it in the palm of my hand like this, and I'm just grabbing it. This is the way your teachers tell you never hold the pencil, but artists love holding your pencils like this. So I grab it like that, and it's basically my thumb and my finger here, and I'm just using it to just kind of come over here and the shade. And I'm darkening it and I'm making this a little bit lighter there, but I'm going to make my lines dark there. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now I want to kind of come over here and I'm just going to be using it to create some rabbit fur. And I'm going to switch over and just use a little bit of lines. This is called hatching. And I'm going right over where I did the rabbit fur and adding these little lines here. Now, when one of our next steps, after we do the body, we'll come back. And I'm going to show you how to blend some of these lines. But we're just kind of roughing in our bunny there. So you can see what I've done here is just kind of getting some lines. And I'll add some more in a little bit, but I want to first work on his body. We kind of have a nice looking bunny started here, right? Now, if everybody's ready, I'm going to start working on his body. So we're going to give a, now, when we look at this rabbit, you see how this is his back leg. I'm going to just show you. It comes up like this around, and it comes underneath his fur and comes out there. So that's kind of what I want to do right now is I'm just going to come up here. I'm coming over there. You can see that I'm just coming up. I'm going to sketch in this. I see that it comes down at an angle here. And then it comes in. 
So look, you can see here's my guideline. I'm coming in here and I wanna see where, where does that foot end? It ends right there. So I make a mark. Okay, so what I'm looking at here is where does this foot end? You can see that's where it is. So I'm gonna come over like this. Like that. And then what I wanna do is just kind of get rid of the line that I had there, just so I'm getting this. So I'm gonna come over, cause this is his, There is, we're gonna cover it up with fur, but I want you to see how that leg is. It's not just something that shows up out of nowhere. Here's the hip and there's the leg coming out. Okay, so how I did that is I started up here. I came around, I'm kind of following the guidelines and you can see that it curves back after it comes down, I curved it back and I have his foot. I'm not gonna do the details of his foot yet. We'll come back and do that in a minute, but let's go ahead and add his front feet. Now, first, before I do that, I wanna see, I look at this and this comes straight down. So I just wanna come with some fur. I'm doing this kind of hatching here. So you're bringing that just to get where the bottom of the fur is there. Now look at the feet. Look at his front feet. They go in this angle. It's pretty much the same angle as his head. And you can see that it starts with his nose, so I come down like this. I'm making a dot. Can you see the dot? Is there too much glare? I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm just gonna, there, you can see that. So this is where I'm gonna come out and the angle is like this. So then I do, I'm just gonna do placeholders for his feet. One, two. So I do these two placeholders for his feet. And they're that you can see that's the basic shape, but then we're going to give him his claws. We want to make sure that we have our bunny kind of in place here. Okay, I wanna check in with everybody. Does everybody have one back leg and two front legs? Yep, I'm seeing thumbs up. Yep, how are you guys doing? I see that, okay. Yep, okay. So now let's not worry too much about the feet. Let's give some detail to the fur. And so what I'm gonna show you now is if we look at the fur, it's gonna come like this. And what I wanna do, this is called hatching. And it's, sometimes you've heard of cross hatching. Hatching is just little lines or big lines next to each other like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, and a hatch line goes one direction versus a zigzag. You can see each line comes like that. You're going one direction. You don't want to go back and forth. That's a zigzag. So I want to come like this. That creates the fur. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be overlapping. So I'm going to be coming over here. I'm going to start here and I'm going to start doing fur. I'm going I'm overlapping They don't have to be small. They don't have to all be the same size. What you wanna do 
is create the rabbit's fur I just realized how many legs does our rabbit have so far? Three. He needs a fourth leg. Do you see it? It's right here. So we come off the ear. It's just kind of this U shape back there. That's his other leg. And I'm going to start coming with my fur. I actually made it a little bit too big. Just a little bit. So you can see I'm going to be adding this fur. I'm going to be adjusting his leg here so I can bring in the fur. So you want to continue with these hatch marks. You can see I'm only going one direction, right? And I can come back over some of them. But then I'm going to start following his body, and I'm going to be bringing his fur coming down. So I'm, I was going that way. Now I'm going this way. You can see I'm overlapping. The lines can be big with hatching. They can be big, they can be small. His fur is a little bit longer in front. So I'm making some of these lines a little bit bigger. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna, you have to every once in a while, flex your hand so you can get the uh, cramp out of it because I'm pressing. And I'm going to come over his leg. His, I'm going to erase a little bit of this line here. And then I'm going to start with my fur back here. And I'm going to be doing the fur on his back leg where the hatching does not, it's not overlapping. So I'm doing it in rows. And see how I'm just going to come. Sometimes I do them straight, sometimes I do them as C's. I want to come over my line. Some of those lines are just going to be, we want to see his fur. And you can see from this, that some of the, the, the back leg in, is getting lost a little bit. And yeah, that's what happens with the fur. It's kind of cool that way. Now I want to do the fur on his back leg here. So I'm just going to add some fur back there. You see, I switched over to be regular drawing on this one, just like that, just to get a little bit of fur there. So I want you guys to then Add a little bit of fur like we were doing to his front and do it lightly on his face. Now 
I'm going to kind of I'm going to use my eraser to kind of get rid of some of my lines so I can kind of use my and I'm going to add his whiskers back so I can see some of my erase so I have to So I'm letting you guys kind of catch up here. When you're done with the fur, let me know, because then we're going to work on his, uh, bless you, Harper. Uh, then uh, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll work on his feet. OK, I see some thumbs up here. Quincy, you doing OK there? Just keep working, OK? So if, if we're ready, what I'm going to do is show you with the feet. I'm going to do this back foot first. And what it is, is I'm going to use a different pencil here. I need a little bit sharper one. Let me see. Wow, that looks great. So I'm going to add these. You can see his toes. And you've probably seen a rabbit's foot. Oop, that pencil just broke like nobody's business. All right, let me try another one. Uh, I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to do this kind of, I'm making that little bit of a U there. And then I'm doing one that comes a little bit farther out. And then one that comes a little bit in. So the middle one comes out a little bit. And then I'm going to add, they do have claws. Give me a, does anybody have a, a, a rabbit at home? Okay, I see, okay, great. So you guys know what they look like. You can use that as an example too. They do have claws. And so I'm gonna add a little claw there. And then I'm just gonna shade it in a little bit here. And then I'm gonna bring fur over the rest of it here, like that. And then I'll use my eraser. to Get rid of the lines I don't want. So I'm going to give them this three toes up here again. So I'm going to do this one here first. As I come out, I'm going to go in like that. Okay, so I'm coming over like that. Then this one comes outside of my placeholder like that. And then I do another one. I'm just using in this U shape, but I use the placeholder of that kind of bigger U shape so I kind of know where it's gonna go. It makes it a lot easier. And then I give it a little bit of fur. And I give them little claws. You can see I adjusted it. I came in a little bit narrower there. So I wanna to try to do that. And then I'm going to come over and do this other one here. I'm going to start over here with it. And I come over. And I'm just doing this kind of U shape here. And then I'm going to come back there. And then I'm going to. Use my eraser to get the lines. And then of course, I want to add some claws. And a little bit of fur. I'm just using side of my pencil for the fur there. OK, so now you can kind of see where our rabbit is. We should have three rabbit's feet. 
We should have two ears, nose, and two eyes, lots of whiskers, lots of fur, right? So if you've got a, I'm gonna show you how to blend next. So I'm gonna be blending with a couple of different things. I'm gonna first do it with a Q-tip because most of you guys probably have Q-tips. Uh, you don't wanna really use your finger. Yep, that's it, Quincy, you got it. So what I wanna do is you don't, you wanna follow the lines that you have of the fur. So as an example, these are like this. I just want to go over them. So I'm just going over the lines the same direction I drew them. I don't want to go across. I want to follow them. So I'm going to go over every single one of my fur lines. I've drawn. And what it's going to do, it's going to make those lines a little less harsh and more blended in to look more like fur. I have to continue going in the directions I drew the line. I'm just following all of my fur lines here. I'm going to do my fur back there and just kind of blend that in a little bit. So what we'll do is we're going to continue blending all these. And then we're going to come back with our pencil and add a little bit of fur on top. This is called the whole layering effect of drawing. Now, mine's getting pretty dirty, so I'm going to go ahead, switch it to the other side. I'm following my lines. I'm even going to blend in my, my paw there, my rabbit paw. And then I'm going to blend these. And then I'm going to come over. I'm just kind of giving a little eyeshadow here, too. And I'm doing a swirling motion on his face to give it a little bit smoother fur. So you can see I'm just kind of swirling it a little bit there. I'm following the whiskers too, the lashes. Now I'll come up here. Do the same thing on the other ear. So you go very methodically through. Now I'm using just the graphite to color in the inside of some of the spots there. You can see there how I've kind of been able to create that. And then I'll just use my eraser to create some of the spots I want to, and I'm using my eraser as a drawing tool here. Now that I have the blending, I'm gonna come back and add some more fur to his ear. I'm coming over here. I'm going to add some more fur down here. So I'm just kind of layering. Now that I've blended the things, I'm kind of just layering in and adding another layer on top of the blended fur lines that we have. How's everybody doing? Doing good? So 
I'm just going to show you. I like the idea of creating kind of a, a backdrop. So what I did is I'm going to just come over and I'm going to make an horizon line for my drawing. And I'm just going to follow this. I don't draw across it, but this way, I know that I'm going straight across without drawing a line through my rabbit. I just kind of follow my line, lifting it up and then putting it back down. So if you have a chance, let's go ahead and draw a line. And I'm going to show you how to create some trees by just using my pencil like this and drawing up. We're going to do some trees, OK? Maybe one tree, and then you guys can do your own background. But I want to show you how to just kind of sketch it in. So what I do is I'm just going to bring my side of my pencil up like this. As you can see, I'm just coming up. And I come up with a line like that. So you just want to bring your pencil up. And then I'm going to use the side of the pencil and create the outside of the tree and bring it back down for the trunk. And then I'm going to add some more leaves in here. And that's a really simple looking tree. We can do the same thing for bushes by just coming up. And you can see I'm just kind of doing this kind of bushes like this. And the bushes are behind the tree, so I bring it back behind there. And I'm just using my pencil as laying in my hand. I'm using this finger to point at my thumb. It's basically these three fingers are creating it. Now, if I wanted to create maybe a mountain back here, I could do this mountain range. Back there like that. So you can see that you can create all kinds of things. And I'm just doing it with the side of my pencil. Now. When I'm doing like a grass or things, I'll go like this to create maybe some grass. I'm using my pencil the same way. I can use my blender. Just like we did with fur, when you're doing grass, you want it to go the same direction you drew your lines. It's really kind of an important kind of thing. And I'll just keep going with a little bit of grass here. Now, if you wanted, when I did the sky, one of the things I did with the sky is that I just used my side of my pencil again. And I go really light to create kind of the swirls of maybe clouds or just a, a sky. I go right kind of over the parts of the rabbit too to do that. And then I'll use my blender to create that sky above there. And what's nice, guys, is that the Q-tip that you're using has got graphite already on it, so you don't even have to add anything. I am just using just the Q-tip to blend things here. Creating my sky. You can also use that Q-tip to blend your tree. And you see, I'm just kind of dabbing it to get some of the graphite. It's 
So I feel like I needed one more tree over here. You guys can make as many or little. You can put a house in if you want. Now, what I did here is you can see that I made a couple of trees a little bit smaller here. And what that does is it shows that even though they're on the same plane, these look like they're farther away because they're smaller. So you can create the distance by adding the same kind of image, but making it smaller makes it feel like it's way far away. I'm just going to add a little bit of background here with my sometimes if it's a little bit too much I just come in use my eraser now these you can get these like at, at Blick Art Supplies or any kind of uh, art store. They're not very expensive. They're just paper rolled up. Sometimes they're called tertillions. This one is just a blending stump. It works like a Q-tip, but a little bit better. I can get into some details because they have points and I can get work on some of the details I want. 